Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the start of another reading vlog. Right now it is Sunday, May 23rd? 22nd? Something like that. Just had a really busy morning so far. I went out to brunch and things like that. So I just kind of got home to start filming and reading. So I thought I would come on, check in, and start another reading vlog. So to update you with my reading plans, I did start Layla by Colleen Hoover. I started this last night, like late last night, so I didn't really get far into it. Um, I'm only on page 59, chapter 5. So far, I'm very intrigued by this. Um, but if you look at the reviews of this book, they're lower than the average reviews for a Colleen Hoover book. Um, but after reading Verity by Colleen Hoover, which is still probably one of the best books that I've ever read and probably the best book that she's written, this seemed to have like similar vibes of, of that book. So I was very um, intrigued by this and excited to read it. But yeah, the reviews aren't the best, but I'm still going to give it a fair shot, and so far I am enjoying it, so I'm going to hope that I continue to enjoy it. I'm also reading King of Scars by Leigh Bardugo. This is my audiobook. Um, I'm not too, too far into this yet. I'm only on page 174, chapter 11, but I am enjoying this so far. Like I said in my last vlog, this will probably be the only Grisha book that I like. Um, not a huge, huge fan of the Grisha verse, but I am enjoying this one so far, so... High hopes. I also received some book mail um, in the past couple of days so I thought I would go ahead and open that up on camera. First I have a dust jacket pre-order from the bookish box so I thought we could open this together. I don't know what... I, I don't know what happened. It looks like someone burned the package. <laughs> um, so I think back when A Court of Silver Flames was released back in February. Um, Bookish Box did pre-orders for A Court of Silver Flames dust jacket as well as A Court of Frost and Starlight. Um, I don't know if that was previously released before this pre-order but I ended up pre-ordering both because I needed both of those to complete my set for um, these dust jackets. So I went ahead and pre-ordered both of them and I'm very excited that I now have the complete set of these dust jackets. I believe this one is the A Court of Frost and Starlight dust jacket. This one is super, super pretty. It's so pretty. Really pretty. I'm really happy to have this. Um, and I do like the bookish box dust jackets because they're like pre-folded so that they fit the book perfectly. Um, so yeah, I don't actually have a hardback of, of Court of Frost and so it started that I can put this on. I need to get one of those. Um, but I'm very happy to have this, and now I have the complete set, which is awesome. I also placed an order on Book Outlet. Um, I have been, I, oh my god, years and years ago when I was in college, I used to be placing Book Outlet orders like every single week. Um, because as you know, they restock um, daily. Uh, they have new things. Um, so it's dangerous. It's a, it's a dangerous hole to fall into. Um, but since then, I, I have been trying to chill on my Book Outlet purchases, but most of my book my book collection is purchased from book outlet just because reading is an expensive hobby <laughs> um and any way you could you can save money hop on it you know so i do have a small order uh, i think it's maybe like eight books something like that but i thought we could open this together i can never open boxes Ugh, just a skill i don't have you know Alright, so I don't really remember what I got. I always have this like um paper. Yeah. I got so many papers. Alright, so here we go. So the first book I got was Emergency Contact by Mary H. K. Choi. I tried to read this, oh my god, years and years ago. When did this come out? I think I tried to read this when I first came out in 2018, and I just didn't care for it. Um, I think, honestly, because I wasn't in the mood for it, and then I, I just quit. I don't know. <laughs> Yoke. Yoke just came out, um, and I'll ever, everyone just really seemed to like that book. And I was like, okay, I'll give Yoke a shot. And then I keep hearing some booktubers talk about this, and they love this book. And I was like, I think I need to give Mary H.K. Choi another shot. She's very well loved. And there's obviously a reason for that. So I think I want to give her another another fair shot. And um, I think her characters have really great rep. So I really want to 
try again. So I picked this up and I wanted the hardback because her hardcover is really pretty. And I also just recently got a hardcover of Permanent Record. So now I have all of her books in hardcover. I think I have all of her books, but this is basically a story told in like a lot of text messaging and um, like mixed media, I believe, of the two characters communicating um, and they become each other's like emergency contact. So it's like a young adult contemporary romance. Again, I tried reading it didn't vibe with it but I hope this time around I can vibe with it and it's supposed to be a very quick read so I finally got my hands on a bargain copy of this um and it has like you know the black mark we don't care we love to see it but like he's vibing like um hello copy of Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff oh my god this is a signed book I didn't even know oh my god this is a sign I had no idea. Wow, okay. $35. Oh my god, I, I had no idea this was signed when I bought it. Okay, cool. I know there's a like whole cancellation thing going on with Jay Kristoff. Um I don't know what happened with that. I know I just know that he that stirred up some drama within the booktube community. Um so if you'd love to educate me on that please leave a comment. I don't really know what's going on. The first two books in this series and I've heard so many good things so I just thought I would get the rest of them or you know get the last one. Yes as I said I have the first two books. This is the last one I needed to to complete the series and now I have it and now I can read it. It's very odd. It has footnotes. I didn't know that. I don't know if this is adult, new adult, YA. I'm not quite sure. I think it might be adult. Okay, next we got Skyward and Starsight by Brandon Sanderson. These I got one in paperback and one in hardcover, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but they're very cheap and I've wanted to get these for a while, so I figured if I love them, I'll just upgrade this one. I've wanted to try these for a while. These are a sci-fi by Brandon Sanderson. I'm not quite sure exactly what it's about. It's about like a daughter of a, like a spaceship captain or something like that. Another series by Brandon Sanderson that I really wanted to get to. Um, he's very well loved within the fantasy world. And I like have this weird inkling to get more into sci-fi, but we don't, we don't know when that's gonna happen. If you know anything about these books or if you've read them and you liked them and you recommend them, let me know because I am very excited to get to these one day. Okay, next I got Every Heart a Doorway and Down Among the Sticks and Bones by Sean McGuire. This is the first book in the series and I think this is the prequel to this series so they're both on there. I have the other two in the series already that I also purchased from book outlets so when I saw these I knew I had to get them so I can finally start reading these because these are very well loved and they are short and quick. I don't know much about these. What happens after ever after? Whoa. I don't know. <laughs> um, that's all I want to know, really. <laughs> Basically got these because they're quick and I figured if I want like a very quick book but that's still within the fantasy genre, I could go to these. Next I got the Scarlet Wood and this is a, I believe, anthology of reworked fairy tales by popular authors. So yeah, it says there's Shauna McGuire, Jeffrey Ford, Naomi Novik, um, Garth Nix, um, and more and basically these are reworked fairy tales that have twists and this has been recommended to me since I love fantasy um, and they have the paperback on there for pretty cheap so I finally decided to get it um, and it says once upon a time in the desert in a tower on a spaceship in the other country so yeah it sounds super intriguing um, I love fairy tale retellings um, and it just looks like a good time Let's look at that that's cool so yeah these are all the books that I got for this little book haul from Book Outlet. I am trying to be good and stay away from Book Outlet now since I did not need these, um, but super happy to have them and let me know if you've read any of these and if you enjoy them. I think I'm gonna go read a little bit, relax, and enjoy the rest of my Sunday. So I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> so like, what you should do literally reading a ghost book and hearing all these noises i'm just like so something you should know about me is i'm not very well versed with horror or thrillers i can't really handle them like horror movies thriller movies like i don't watch them because i'm a baby and i can't get i, I just can't handle the okay so i'm like reading this and i i knew it was supposed to be like a thriller right but I'm thoroughly creeped. <laughs> like, 
I am thoroughly like, I'm literally reading the book like this. Like, that was me the last, like, 15 pages. I'm not even playing with you. Like, the main character is insane. Like, literally insane. Because he wants answers so bad. He's, like, doing all the things that you think you shouldn't be doing. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna lose my mind. Did you just hear my door shut? Oh my god. Wind from my window. But still... <laughs> I don't know if I can keep reading this right now. Like, I'm getting creeped out, but, like, I want to know what's happening so bad. I'm on page 100. All I want to do is read this. Like, it's so good. I don't know why this has, like, average reviews because, like, <laughs> like, I was just telling my friend, like, maybe it's because, like, I'm a baby and it doesn't take much to scare me and people have encountered, like, far more scarier things than this, but, like, I'm just, like, I'm just, like, thoroughly invested and creeped out. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, my God. I like this so far. Do I recommend reading it at night? No. <laughs> um, but I don't want to put it down. <laughs> I really like it. Um, I'm like over the moon excited to continue. I honestly have no idea what's going on. Like I have no clue where she's going with this story. I have like some ideas, but I don't know if they matter. <laughs> like I'm excited. I'm creeped out. I'm scared. <laughs> but so far i do recommend it and i am enjoying it so there's that hey guys what's up it is now monday may 24th i think i last talked to you guys yesterday when i started this new weekly reading vlog um so i just wanted to come on and check in for the day i just got home i had a really long day i had a full day of work and then i actually had a doctor's appointment right after work so i just got home from that um, my doctor is like 45 minutes away from me. So during my drive to the doctors, I was able to listen to my audiobook, which is King of Skies by Leigh Bardugo, and I got like 100 pages of this in. Um, so I am now on chapter 17, page 276. Um, and you can definitely tell things are starting to pick up and the plot is starting to evolve a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say I'm completely like blown away by this book and I'm like, oh my god, this is like an amazing fantasy book. It's like five stars. Like, I'm not there. Um, but I am enjoying this book and these characters and this story um, within the Grisha universe and I'm really happy about that. So I did get some of this done and I am now uh, more than halfway through, um, which is exciting. So hopefully I will be able to finish this this week, which is awesome. I haven't really had much time to do any physical reading today. Um, I actually was pulled to be a sub today at work, um, so I didn't have much time um, to read because I was trying to figure out someone else's lesson plans, which is always fun. I am still reading Layla by Colleen Hoover. Um, if you watched my last clip last night with this book, was an adventure. Right now I am on page 112. I got like a couple of pages during my lunch break and um, that's pretty much it. But I do plan to spend a good chunk of tonight with this book. And I'm excited. <laughs> Love this. It's making me want to read more like a uh, ghost themed books which is odd for me because I don't do well with scary <laughs> so if you guys have any like recommendations of books that are similar to this if you've read this and you know kind of understand what kind of story this is like let me know because I am like keen to pick up more books like this um which is again weird for me <laughs> um so yeah if you have any recommendations of books like this leave them down below so yeah those are my reading plans as of right now um I'm like low-key thinking about picking up another physical read because this is kind of hard to, for me to read like late at night. Like I was reading this at like 10.30 last night and I like didn't want to stop but I had to because I knew I like wanted to go to bed and I didn't want to be like scared going to bed. <laughs> so I'm like thinking of picking up something else physically. I really just want to get this done because I love it and want to know what happens and I just want to read this really is what's happening. Um. So yeah, I need to try to pick something to read after this. I don't know if I'm going to try to read a fantasy or a romance. Um, I've been saying that I've been in the romance mood and that's still the case. Um, so I don't know exactly what I will do. Um, but I have plenty of options. If you watched my last vlog, you know, I have so many books that I want to read. Because there's so many books I have on my Kindle that I want to read too. But again, I'm trying to get like my physical TBR. Um, I'm really trying to attack that. So yeah, that's my plan for tonight is to get through Layla. Um... I also need to 
do my June setup for my reading journal. If you guys are interested in a video on my reading journal, let me know. I can make a video of that. Um, but right now, I need to take a shower, settle in for the night, eat dinner, um, finish editing my vlog, and all that kind of stuff. So I am going to check in with you guys a little later and start to settle up for the night. got home um finished some things for youtube and then i immediately sat down and started reading some more of layla um i really just want to get this finished today because i want to move on to a different book um i get like so weird like i <laughs> i have like no patience <laughs> and i just like want to keep reading like new books but anyway um i want to finish layla today um i'm not far from finishing it at all I'm on page 228 and it's I think had 290 pages 190 pages exactly so I think maybe another 45 minutes to an hour because I'm slow <laughs> I'm a slow reader um I should be done I'm still enjoying it but I'm not enjoying it as much as I was um when I first started the book and I think that's because of a few things and I think right now it's sitting at four stars um and I thought it was gonna be five stars but that's okay because I still really like it and I still love Colleen Hoover I'll support her until the end of time you know to finish Leela and then I will update you guys when I'm done of this book like maybe the last like 50 pages or so was a lot it was intense and it delivered five stars I, this was so good I don't know why anybody would rate this lower than five stars because the ending just destroyed me Dean Hoover's ability to write such tragic characters and such a tragic but beautiful story like I loved this book um I liked a lot of the messages that she was able to convey in this book. The one thing I don't like about this book is the subtle undertones of abuse um, and that representation, while it is still in this book, it kind of is outweighed based on how she wrote the rest of it for me. So. Um, that was one of the reasons I was giving this 
four stars or three stars because I, I couldn't deal with the the undertones of abuse or emotional cheating and things like that um but if you give the entire book a chance and if you read the entire thing those thoughts kind of go out the window um I really enjoyed this I don't think it's as good as Verity even though I'm going to give it five stars but honestly this book made me cry at the end and I literally couldn't put it down. Just that sheer fact alone is five stars. If a book captivates you to the point where you don't want to do anything else but finish it, that's five stars. That's why this got five stars for me. Colleen Hoover is just, she will forever be one of my favorite authors. And I don't think I have anything else to say. I just, I loved this and I now need to get out of bed and be human and do something else with my time and let myself kind of digest this. I will hopefully be ready to read something else. So yeah, highly recommend. I loved it. I am now going to go be human and I will check in with you guys later. Hi everyone, um, it is now Wednesday. It is, I believe like almost 7 a.m. I'm just kind of getting ready for the day. Um, getting ready for work and all of that. I want to come on and update you guys on my reading. So last night I was kind of indecisive and I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to pick up because I wasn't sure if I still wanted a romance or if I wanted to move on to some type of fantasy story. Um, but I knew I just wanted like a short book because I don't really want to commit to a longer book right now. So what I decided to pick up was The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I did start to read this. Um, I didn't get very far into it. And chapter six, page 46. I was just really tired last night and very anxious about today so I didn't really get much reading done. I I like this so far. It's intriguing. Um, it's very like fast paced. I, I don't even know if that's correct but I feel like I'm like not keeping up with what's going on. I, I'm like I barely know the character and I barely know the world but we're kind of just thrown into it which I'm not a big fan of but enjoying it so far and I am intrigued so hi everybody um I haven't uploaded anything for the vlog in a couple of days um I've had a busy couple of days so you can see I have new hair um, I went yesterday after like right after work and it took like six hours at the salon so I had no time to read no time to literally do anything after work yesterday um and then the day before that my boyfriend came over so I didn't do any reading that day either so I have been like slacking on the reading game um, this week, which is okay. Um, I read a lot last week, so I feel okay about it, but I also am in a really big reading mood regardless. So hopefully this weekend I can get some reading and I have a long weekend, but again, I'll be with my boyfriend and I try not to read with him with him because we don't see each other all the time. We don't live together. Um, so when I do get to see him, I try to focus on him, but usually at night and stuff, if we have some downtime, I'll read. So let me just update you on still what I'm reading. I don't have any books with me to show you right now, but I can still tell you. Um, I'm still reading The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I have gotten a little bit farther into that. I'm not obsessed with it yet, but I'm still very intrigued by the story and the characters. So I think I'm still going to give that a shot. I also, yesterday at the salon, randomly started Flock um, on my Kindle. I don't really know how I feel about it yet because I'm literally on chapter one. But I can tell it's going to be a very hard-hitting story and it's going to deal with some tough topics, I think. And I feel like it's going to be very character-driven, which I like in romance. Um, so I'm excited about it. I don't really know if I'll continue with it right now. I just needed something to start on my Kindle while my hair was like processing. So I had my phone with me and I just decided to start it because I didn't know what else to do in that moment because I had like no service on my phone and I couldn't like go on Instagram or anything because like there was no service so like my Kindle app loaded because you know the the book was already on my device but yeah I, li I literally read the prologue and that's it um and again I think the writing was good and I think she set up a very emotional story so again I'd love to continue with it but I just don't know if I will right now so right now I actually just went to um TJ Maxx um, I'm like, I am always on the hunt for clothes because I actually lost a significant amount of weight and sorry, there's someone walking by my car, Aqua Taco. I'm really like, can I just vlog in peace, please? Like, is that too much to ask? So yeah, there's a Barnes and Noble right here, um, but I don't think I'm going to go in because it's too tempting and I'll, I will buy many a book. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is go to Target because I don't have to meet my boyfriend for like another hour. 
um, I think I'm going to go to Target, see what they have for clothes on sale and whatnot, and then just check the book section there because it's limited, so I can just buy, you know, if I see something, it's, at least it's discounted. And I get a discount because my mom works for Target Optical, so I get another discount too at Target. Um, so that's the plan right now. I'll check in with you guys when I can. Hello. Um, it is now Monday. The weekend is gone, and <laughs> it just flew by. I got caught up doing everything else in the world except for the things that I wanted to get done um so here we are on Monday trying to be productive I'm sorry about the lighting I'm trying to use natural lighting but it's quite stormy out still today it's been raining like all weekend here um where I live so excuse the lighting situation hopefully it's okay still I think I last updated you guys in the car while I was like out running errands on Friday and I think that's literally the last thing I filmed. I didn't really have time to film at all this weekend, um, given everything that I was doing. So with that said, I also didn't have time to read anything. Um, yeah, I have, so basically I had a three day weekend for work and I really wanted to get reading done and I didn't, um, I just got caught up spending time with my boyfriend and my family. So, uh, not a lot of reading happened. So yeah, I'm still reading The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. I'm going to try my best to get this finished as soon as possible. But other than that, I'm not really reading anything else right now. Um, so I know that's a really boring way to end this vlog, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed this vlog. I'm actually going to sit down and start a new one right now. And as always, you can find me in other places. I have all of my social media linked down below, including my TikTok. Um, and yeah, I'm going to end this one and say goodbye, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys.